Hey guys, check out our new tow rig. Let me show you how we made it. Okay, so this is what I'm working with. I have a brand new trailer I don't want to hack to pieces. If this was old and rusty, I sure would love to cut that out because it bothers me that the winch is not centered. So this is new and powder coated and I'm not going to mess with it. I don't want to weld on it. So what do we do? You go down to your local hardware store. Lowe's, Tractor Supply, Farm Fleet, all that stuff. And you pick up one of these little tongue mounts goes right up here in the front if you can't find them usually uh, go down the aisle with the welders and uh, find yourself a roll model get yourself a little welder and a little grinder some sort of saw bandsaw hacksaw I don't care and uh, learn how to do things you need a roll model I need to raise it I can't mount it on here I don't want to just bolt it to the wood like some guys do I want to put the fair lead right there, so I got to raise the winch up to this level. So I built myself a little platform out of some scrap pieces, welded on some quarter inch. Yeah, welded on some quarter inch plate. Go right there. And then I kind of got carried away. I wanted, I need to put a battery on it. I had an old battery box out of my big truck I used to use. I had dual batteries in it for a while. And that just kind of looks like crap. It didn't really fit. And of course, I got carried away and I built myself a little basket. And I can mount anything up here. Next, I want to put the winch in a box. So I got this little toolbox. That's another Harbor Freight. Score there, cut a hole in it, lined everything up. So when I bolt this to the trailer, the winch will bolt here. Same thing with the toolbox. It'll get kind of pinched in there and Cut a hole in the back of the toolbox. Does anybody else have a tape tower in their kitchen on their microwave next to the old saucepan that you put your keys in and your quarters and all the nuts and bolts you bring home from work in your pockets? Or is it just me? Don't have serious issues. normal then I took it to the old man's house by the way did you ever eat paint chips as a kid so we got a little fire truck red left over from this old girl that uh match the trailer close enough and then while i'm here i'm gonna hit some of the suspension parts for the 46 because our brakes are red Let's see if that stands out <clears throat> and we'll get back on that soon that's the plan get the trailer going and then i'll bring this home so i can work on it at my house a little bit get a lot more done that way and I can just bring it back here when we have to paint. Soon.
And now today we're gonna bolt it on. I bought some U-bolts. Some little plates here that will pinch over top of the rail. So hopefully everything will be secure. Shouldn't go anywhere. I picked myself up a winch. That's another Harbor Freight. Harbor probably gonna break. Special. Get them on sale. 9500, that should be enough to pull dead weight as long as it's got four rolling wheels up here. Again, I'm not gonna use it all the time. Just so I could bring the truck home back and forth. Cause that's my little garage, that's where I do my work. But the big shop's up at Grandpa's and that's, that's a good hour drive. I don't get up there a lot, so this way me and the kid can work on it a little more often. We got a better chance of getting it done. So this is what our project is today. I gotta go get the kid. I need fresh legs to crawl into here, help me bolt this up. And uh, hang in there, we'll go from there. So, all right, I got you some cardboard. Bucket. Luxury. All right, I'll hand you the U-bolts and you put them up through the bottom, okay? All right. All right. Watch your brains, don't bunk your head. Uh, you might dent the trailer. Let go, this way. Oh, I see. See what, see what I'm... Yeah. And then there's a, you got her? Is being held. Okay, hold on. These are nylon. Not very securely. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, let me get the other one. Round two. <laughs> Sexy. Is it up all the way? Uh, no. One. Oh, there's two more on this side. These ones are easier to get to. Two more on which side? Right here. Oh. Yeah, man. Ooh, close. A little tough. Ooh, you got it. Let me get this one started. Oh, dead. What? For some reason it's off and it's hurting my soul. Hurting your soul. Yeah. There you go. You just look, gotta be rough no, with look. it. look. It isn't centered. Oh. oh yeah. That hurts. What? That hurts. What hurts? The mentally. Oh, yeah. Well, they're different sizes. When I tighten it, it'll line up. That's good, dude. I appreciate your uh, eye for detail, though. Yeah. I'm just chilling out here on the, my luxury car, boy. There she get one. Two down. Let's see if it fits. You might have to just. It did stick. Let's see if it fits. Oop. Look. Yeah, look, so if I push one through this hole. I'm gonna need to take okay, the Okay, hold it. Hold! What do you think of this little system? I mean, I don't see anything special about screws in that. The bolts and beams. There you go, man. Wanna climb out for a second? Yeah. We'll tighten the bejesus, bejesus out of them. So you can get you into that into one. No problem. Oh, now you take another bite with the ratchet. Take another bite. Click, 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 click. There you go. Bite? What do you mean, bite? When I say, when I, when I say like this, that's what I mean by another bite. Just don't smash your knuckles. Why do I have an extra lock washer? Where was that? Well, I don't have an extra one now. Oh, there it is. We gotta find out where that went. Oh, right here. This was your side. I'm just kidding. Getting tight? Yeah. Is it uh, uh tight? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Here, right, look at this. In here. Right here. So I put a little tab here. Kind of take advantage of this location. Okay. So we we'll bolted the front down here. Okay. Okay. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm you got her. Yeah. I made holes. They should be 
<laughs> so I see. Right there. Ah, see enough clearance. See, check it out. Go in there, see the holes. Yep. Alright, and then the winch should also go in there, and this is where I need you to crawl back underneath. Well, I hope they line up, dude. Yeah. Alright, I'll go check oh, under. Oh, I forgot the brace. Oh no. I forgot one piece here. Yep. we got to put this in first. In there. In there. To the pit. The pit does. Kind of difficult. This one right here, no screw will be able to fit through that. Because look, there's half of it be blocked. Yeah. Bye bye, figure. You want to start with that one? Yeah. Never Redden? mind that. You want started. me to wiggle it around a little bit? Yeah, nothing happens. See if we can get it. It doesn't thread. Everything lines up but my bolts with the plate and my plate just barely catch by one thread. So I gotta go get some longer bolts. And there's my battery. Fits in there nicely. Uh, I think I'm gonna get some through fittings for the wires. What do you think, trip to the store? Yeah. Trip to the store. And then we got a little extra basket for anything else we need to put in there. All right, beer run. Be right back. Okay, I'm back, got some longer bolts. I had to buy some spacers because the fairly doesn't fit all the way. I mean, it fits under there, but then the little keepers on the rollers kind of interfere. So, got some little spacers. And it's hard to do with one hand, so I'm going to bolt that together and go from there. Okay, we're back. I got everything wired up. Just a tip if you put this winch in a box like this. There's a ground on the bottom. That was a pain in the butt. So put that one in first. So anyway, we wired it here. Got some through fittings out the bottom into my little handy dandy battery holder. And true fashion, we went extra. We put a solar panel on it. Another Amazon find. I think they're about $60. Come with his own little charge controller. Look at that. That thing's kicking out 20.5 volts. And I'm in this. Okay, I'm sorry. 13.8 volts. 1.21 gigawatts. And I'm in the shade. 100% battery charge. This thing's awesome. Cheap. I made up some little brackets. Hopefully it's a road worthy. There's another one, just drills it into the lid. I think that's it. We have to tuck these in there somewhere. A little wire management. But I think we're in business. I gotta go get E. We have one more thing to do. It's not official till we name it. Slow. Nice work. Optimus Prime. All right, final touch. I hope I got that good. Nice. Oh, that's good, man. Push it down. There we go. Optimus Prime. That won our uh, name competition. Yes. We had a couple options. Big Camel's towing. Uh, plan B, plan B from the pharmacy, because you know if I get this thing out, usually something went wrong. Plan A didn't turn out. Awesome, man, what do you think? Nice. And then I got all of our stuff on the inside. Should have went bigger, should have bought the bigger toolbox. Always go bigger. There we go, all stickered up, man. And that is the story? 
of Opto Miss Prime. Opto Miss Prime. Alright. Is that it? Yeah. See you, citizens. See you, citizens.